Mark Warburton is Skybet Championship Manager of the Month. Andre Gray is Skybet Championship Player of the Month. For you as the Sporting Director, what does that mean to you and for the club? Fantastic for the whole department, really, for not just the football department, for the club. And basically, you've got the owner, you know, who's put so much money into it uh, and is delighted to do so. Massive supporter. You've got the board who are very supportive of everything we've done. You know, we've had a meeting at 7.30 this morning with the, the CEO and the, uh, and the chairman. So discussing things for the future and the rest of the season. So it's about everyone pulling together. But for Warbs, it's unbelievable. You know, him and his staff have done such a fantastic job with getting us to where we are into this league. You know, and we're enjoying every every minute of it. You're obviously around the camp on a a day to day basis. I mean, how much hard work goes into winning one game in the championship, let alone five in a row? Yeah, it's uh, you know we all would have taken that at the beginning the season to say we'd win five games in this season altogether but you know it is difficult it's Warbs and Davey Weir and, and the staff are in the, they're in at six o'clock this morning and all they do is work hard they have a plan you know you can work hard and be a busy fool but them too they have a real plan of what they want to do uh, and it's showing on the pitch on Saturday really delighted for all of them. You're obviously in and around uh, the director's box a lot, both at home games uh, and, and away games. You talk to other people in football. Is, is what Brentford are doing now, is it starting to, to, to gain a bit of ground? I think people are starting to look at us and say, you know, they're not a bad footballing team. We're, you know, and this is only for our supporters, we're dampening everything down. We're just, you know, little old Brentford doing our best and uh, let's see what happens. But, you know, there's a lot of, uh, what we do here is, is Premier League standard on a lot of this day-to-day -day stuff. You know, with uh, your departments, everyone's departments working so hard to help the club, you know, push the club forward. So we're all delighted with that. You were obviously uh, involved in bringing Andre Gray to, to the football club along with Mark and uh, Matthew and, and everyone who had a look. So is it pleasing for you to see what he's doing? Yeah, it's obviously a little bit of a risk with the, every signing. You know, you could, you could sign someone and big clubs are signing people for 30 million and they'd be proven to disaster. So we'll, you know, we haven't paid a great deal of money for players like Andre, and he's just he's flourished. He's a player who's desperate to do well, works hard every day, and I think it's about attitude as much as um, a skill. You know, his attitude is so good, and his skill level is getting up to that level as well. So we're delighted with the with that signing. And how pleasing is it for you to hear that whenever one of these comes up, uh, the manager, the, the player, everyone's so keen to, to share the joy, if you know what I mean. It, it'll be very easy for somewhat a striker like Andre, who are naturally selfish by, um, strikers are naturally selfish beasts, aren't they? But he, he wants to share it, he wants to share it. How pleasing is that for, for you to hear? Well, I think that just shows the team spirit and the, you know, the way we're trying to do things in, at this football club. There's no real, I wouldn't say there's any egos from the owner right down to the kick man. I wouldn't say anyone's got an ego, but if they were, they, they wouldn't be here for long. So it's uh, it's very pleasing. It's it's great that Andre's saying how well all of his mate all of his mates have, have done to help him because if you're a striker and your mates aren't working hard for you, you're not going to score any goals. So it, I'm delighted that he's a boy that recognises that sort of thing. Uh, and finally, uh, Brentford at the start of December sit third in the Championship. Does that change your plans for January? Well, we we have a long-term plan for this club, you know, with the owner, myself, at the board and, and with Warbs. We speak regularly, we we'll work hard. We have a plan, no matter if we're third from top, third from bottom. And the plan is, if we're going to improve it, you know, we will improve it. If there's a player there we think can help us push forward, we'll sign the player. We definitely want, you know, as far as possible, young, hungry players who want to be part of our uh, of our squad, we want to sign on to the ethos of the club which is about being humble, about working hard and about wanting to play for Brentford.